Hi, welcome to today's episode of Kids Town Corner. The last couple times we've talked about the laser. Um, we talked about lip ties and tongue ties, but there are other uses for a laser in the dental practice. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so one of the things that we can do with that laser is remove tissue. So um, sometimes a child will have a new tooth growing in in the back, those uh, permanent molars. As they're coming in, sometimes there's just some tissue that's laying over that tooth and that, that can become really painful for the child. The child can get a lot of plaque and food and gunk trapped underneath that tissue and they come in and they're inflamed and swollen and so uh, we can go in with the laser and we can uh, remove that tissue that flap of tissue and that way um, it's easier for the child to keep that area clean there's less inflammation there's less swelling and there's less pain absolutely another time when the teeth are coming in and the tissue's not cooperating is and some of you may have seen this with your own kids is especially on top we'll get these big central incisors coming down and one of them or both are having a heck of a time coming through and you've got this tooth you can see the whole outline of the tooth but it's just covered in gums sometimes it's been there for better part of a year if especially if we've got one that's come in and another that seems to just be stuck that's when a lot of times we'll get in there and we'll actually just open a little window there for that tooth to just slide in and it moves fast once that's out of the way that tooth all of a sudden it'll catch up to its neighbor within a lot of times within a month six weeks so we use the laser for that and that's that's kind of a fun one sometimes as well along those lines an orthodontist will have a a canine that's up high and, and we can see it it's visible and and they're wanting to get a bracket on it and so they'll have us do a little opening or window there so they can get a bracket on that too so we'll do a little little window with the laser and it's also a pretty simple procedure with that so those are kind of fun and we get a nice result with those yeah. and sometimes after um, orthodontic treatment um, a, a, a lot of patients can have swelling in the gum tissues um, when the when they're wearing the braces and so sometimes it, when the braces come off and and some of that tissue might still be a little bit swollen so sometimes we'll go in and kind of do a little bit of gingival contouring and kind of remove some of that excess swollen tissue um, uh, again it, it does make it easier for the patient to keep keep it clean but it also just is more aesthetic and, and looks better and we can make it kind of match up with the, the teeth around it better every once in a while we'll get a patient or even a staff member that has a canker sore the size of like a pencil eraser head one of those big ones and those can take a while to heal and so with the laser on the minimal on the uh, canker sore at this ulcer setting we can create kind of a little scab over the top of it that can allow that to heal quicker so so if there's a really bad canker sore a lot of times with the majority of them it's they're going to heal up on their own quickly but the what's called a major apathy or a major canker sore if it's the size of a eraser head of a pencil or larger then that's when we'll we'll get the laser out and we'll put a little protective covering over that to allow it to heal quicker and be but not necessarily heal quicker but be more pain free as it heals and so those are essentially the extra indications for the laser uh, we do the majority of the time we use it is with those phrenectomies those lip tie and tongue ties but we have some of these other procedures we can do with it so to where it's a huge you know tool in our practice that we've really enjoyed having it makes our life easier it makes our patients lives easier with recovery and so it's a win-win um, hopefully this has been helpful something interesting to you if there's any questions or concerns or comments down below please please let us know and we'd be happy to get back to you thanks for joining us today